Nope, I'd rather stay single. Who wants to be coached? Like life, life of a script. So it's life of a script. M many men accept this part of coaching, dating coaching is like something like you. It's a script and you have to follow it. And I am not going to change. I am pride and single. Okay, I have the same response, the same one with the first guy. If you don't, if you want to be single, go ahead. I'm not trying to force you to be single. I'm talking to the guys that want to actually date and have a relationship or meet women. It's fine. If you don't want to, if you'd rather stay single, then go ahead. And and here's the thing. If I if, if I'm like a sports coach, let's say, and a guy comes up to me and says, I, I don't want to learn how to like defend myself at basketball. I don't want to learn how to dribble. I just want to play basketball. By all means, go play basketball and get your ass handed to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Never, ever get better at your field. That's fine. Have fun. How about it? <laughs> but I don't believe such comments because otherwise he, he wouldn't be, oh, this uh, person who commented, he wouldn't be on the account of Matchmaker watching the video uh, video interview with dating coach, listening to this advice and, and taking this point to say his opinion. It's just, you know, I would like to to get someone, but I'm so afraid to make the next step and change something. And, you know, so I, I better say no. no. That's a very <laughs> powerful observation. And I agree with you with that. It's, it's a fear. It's a fear of, oh, I'm going to be fake and it's not, she's not going to like me for me if I, I want to be myself. And, and I do understand to a degree of that perspective, but understand something. If yourself is insecure, if yourself is unattractive, is, do you really want that to be yourself? The beautiful thing about human beings is that we can change who we are by doing work and putting in effort. And so in the beginning, to a degree, there is a lot of fake it till you make it because you're not right now a confident guy. You don't display attractive behaviors when you go out. So you have to practice that until it becomes natural, just like with basketball, sports, or anything else. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You have to have some scripts or whatever. I, I'm not really a fan of using lines and stuff or canned material, but you have to use structure until it becomes natural for you and you become the actual attractive person that you're portraying. Yeah. And it's always from inside. Uh, I remember I had one uh, client when he came in into my office, uh, I wanted to close my eyes because he was so ugly, really, really ugly. Probably, oh, yeah. probably the ugliest person <laughs> I've ever seen. It's like, like from the horror films. But then he started talking, and in two minutes, I didn't realize anything. I was really like cursed. I thought, okay, maybe it's my reaction. And uh, the, the women came to for for uh, to date him, and first reaction was like, oh. <laughs> what is it? But after really a couple of minutes conversation with him, you didn't notice anything because it was so much from inside. I don't know if he did he train it or maybe it was natural, but it was probably the most attractive uh, past personality ever because it was absolutely compensation to his uh, absolutely ugly face. I, I And I like that you're using the example like that. A another really great example. I have a friend who's an ugly guy but this guy's had some pretty amazing experiences he's got models coming over his house taking photos because he's he does professional well professional photography he doesn't make a living doing it but he does it as a hobby and he goes out to nightclubs and he hands his card out and shows his instagram and that he's an amazing photographer and he has women coming over and he gets uh, he hooks up all the time with beautiful with gorgeous women who are half his age simply because he's got something of value. He's really fun to hang out with. He makes the women feel sexy and they want to hook up with him. They would never hook up with him at a nightclub just seeing him like from face to face or probably want to go with that dull personality, good looking guy. But he's got, he's got the game to follow through with that once he gets into the house and starts taking pictures. So yeah, everybody's it's not their angle, man. Yes, because taking pictures is something like not I'm trying to, to flirt with you. I just want to take a picture of you. And they start conversation. You have something to talk about. And so suddenly you realize this, this man is really interesting. Well, understand something, though. It's not like, oh, it's just about pictures. He flirts with them like crazy as he's getting their number and talking about doing the photography and stuff. But he does get to know them and, and builds comfort as well. There's a whole idea to it. I don't know if we're going to talk about the structure of game, but you absolutely have to flirt with women when you meet them. Cause if you don't, you will just be seen as just a friend or an invisible guy. You have to flirt or they won't see you as a sexual option.